Hello students. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk in brief on pharmacology of drugs acting on the uterus. Now these drugs, they primarily affect myometrium. So these drugs, they primarily act on myometrium. Now myometrium is a tissue layer that is made up of smooth muscle cells. And this tissue layer or the myometrium, it forms the wall of uterus. So contraction of myometrium causes uterine stimulation or uterine contraction, whereas the relaxation of myometrium causes relaxation of the uterus. And these drugs that act on the uterus, these include two types of drugs. First type of drugs are termed as uterine stimulants or oxytocin. And second type of drugs are the uterine relaxants or the tocolytics. Now let's first talk about the uterine stimulants or oxytocin. Now these are the agents that induce contraction of uterus. They cause the uterus to contract. And since they cause the uterus to contract, they are used in the induction of labor. That is they are used in the childbirth. And they are also used in facilitating slowly progressing labor. That is termed as uterine inertia. Apart from this, these drugs also prevent postpartum hemorrhage. That means they prevent postpartum loss of blood. Now, since these drugs, they contract the myometrium, they compress the blood vessels. And compression of blood vessels prevent the loss of blood. So, they are also used in the prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. Now, apart from this, some of the uterine stimulants like prostaglandins, uh, they are also used as abortifacients. They are used for the induction of abortions during the second trimester of pregnancy. Now, second category of uh, uh, drugs acting on the uterus are the uterine relaxants. Uh, these are also called as tocolytics. Now, toco refers to childbirth and lytics refers to agents that prevent so, tocolytics are the agents that prevent childbirth. These are used for postponing the delivery. They are, these are used for postponing the childbirth. So, these agents suppress premature labor or these agents suppress premature childbirth. Uh, they prevent childbirth between 24 to 34 weeks of gestation or pregnancy, thereby postponing the delivery. Now, Postponing delivery is required, for example, when the lungs of baby uh, are not mature. So, the delivery is postponed in order to administer corticosteroids. Now, these corticosteroids, they promote fetal lung maturation. Now, apart from this, in cases uh, where the pregnant woman, is, uh, pregnant woman is to be transferred to a higher care facility, that situation also requires administration of tocolytics to, to postpone the labor or to postpone the childbirth. Uh, now let's uh, talk about the classification of uh, drugs acting on the uterus. That is the classification of uterine stimulants and classification of uterine relaxants. So first let's, let's talk about the uterine stimulants. Now first category of uh, uterine stimulants is the hormone that is produced by the posterior pituitary. So that hormone is the oxytocin. So it is a natural hormone that is secreted by the posterior pituitary. Now oxytocin is the drug of choice in the induction of labor and also in facilitating slowly progressing labor and it also prevents postpartum hemorrhage. Now, second category of uh, uterine stimulants are the ergot alkaloids. Now, these include ergometrine, also called as ergonovine, and it's a methyl derivative, that is a methyl ergometrine. Now, these are primarily, uh, these ergot alkaloids are primarily used in the prevention and control of postpartum hemorrhage. And they're usually used in combination with oxytocin. Now, third category of uterine stimulants are the prostaglandins. Now, these include uh, synthetic analogs of uh, prostaglandin E2, that is dinoproston. Then, uh, synthetic analog of prostaglandin F2-alpha, that is carboprost. 
and synthetic analog of prostaglandin E1 that is misoprostol. Now all these synthetic prostaglandin analogs they induce uterine contractions and they are indicated in inducing second trimester abortions that is between 13 to 20th week of pregnancy and the miscellaneous uterine stimulant is the athacridine. Now a second type of drugs acting on the uterus as already discussed are the uterine relaxants or the tocolytics. Now tocolytics are associated with mother as well as fetus complication and therefore their administration requires continuous monitoring of a pregnant woman as well as fetus and no satisfactory tocolytic is available as yet and uh, some of the medications some of the tocolytics are not FD approved and they are used off label for postponing the delivery. Now talking about the classification first category of drugs are the adrenergic agonists for example retodrine and terbutaline. Now retodrine is a beta 2 uh, selective agonist and it shows a more prominent uh, uterine relaxant effect and uh, these drugs are uh, associated with the complications uh, in the mother as well as uh, in the fetus and therefore they should be used cautiously under the supervision of a physician uh, as uh, they are associated with the frequent complications in pregnant women fetus as well as in the uh, neonates and use of retodrine to postpone childbirth has been found to increase uh, maternal morbidity. Now a second category of uh, uterine relaxants are the calcium channel blockers for example nifedipine. Now these drugs induce uterine relaxation by blocking the entry of calcium ions in the uterine myometrial smooth muscle cells. So the wall of the uterus relaxes and this causes relaxation of the uterus. Now calcium channel blockers also uh, when administered can cause uh, side effects in pregnant women like hypotension, tachycardia, nausea, flushing uh, and apart from this uh, since they produce vasodilation they are the calcium channel blockers and therefore they cause dilation of blood vessels and uh, since they cause vasodilation they can cause reduced perforation of placenta and thus reduced blood supply to the fetus which can cause fetal hypoxia. Now apart from this there are certain uh, miscellaneous drugs which are not used uh, clinically uh, like uh, magnesium sulfate, progesterone and uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So this is in brief on uh, pharmacology of drugs acting on the uterus. Now please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students from their examination point of view. And for the clinical use of tocolytics uh, as well as uh, uterine stimulants, kindly consult your physician. Uh, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.